together, tomemos juntos remembering recordando the blood that was shed for us. la sangre que fue derramada por nosotros tomemos juntos The cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart were rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart were rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and At the cross, at the cross, at the cross, where I first and the burdens of my heart were rolled away. It was that by faith I received my sign. Wonder-working power in the blood of the land. There is power, power, wonder-working power. Let's do it like this. There is power, power, wonder working power in the world.
Jesús. ¿Quién murió? Hay poder, hay poder. No, sin igual, sin igual poder. La sangre. While you remain standing, why don't we read our vision statement and uh, our key verse and we're going to go into the word. I'm going to be straight up with you because I, of course, tonight we're going to be back here. Vamos a de pie y con la so let's read de our vision statement together. Vamos a our, our goal at Tabernacle of Glory meta en de Gloria is to form a loving family es una that glorifies God que a Dios through passionate prayer, a de una vida de faithful application of Scripture, de las sincere fellowship, sincero, effective evangelism, and solid discipleship y for the expansion of the kingdom of God. Para la Around the world. So can we give the Lord a nice round of applause? You may be seated. Praise God. Right, the, the goal is to take the gospel of Christ around the world. Uh, we want to say welcome to all of our visitors who are with us for the first or the second time. Can we give the Lord a nice round of applause for them? Um, after the message, we're going to have a chance to welcome you properly. I wanted to go ahead and just say welcome. All right, thank you, worship team. God bless you. All right? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Well, our verse today, I'd like to, uh, well, actually, before I start preaching, let me draw your attention to um, some things that are available um, for you. Antes de comenzar a predicar, quiero darte algo que está disponible para ustedes. One of the things we believe, uh, we believe that Jesus Christ did not only come Creemos que Jesús no solo vino um, to save souls, a salvar almas, but Jesus came to save us in order to make of us agents of transformation. Pero él vino a salvarnos a nosotros para ser agentes de transformación. In society, en la sociedad, and around the world. Y alrededor del mundo. So in this church, y en esta iglesia, our goal is to raise nation builders. Nuestra meta es construir Hallelujah. personas. Society transformers. People who will make an impact for God. Personas que puedan hacer un impacto para Dios. Steve Jobs used to love saying, "My goal is to make a dent, a, you know, a dent on the universe." Steve Jobs solía decir que me gusta hacer una hendidura en el universo. If I can make a little impact. Que si puedo hacer un pequeño impacto. You know, uh, I will feel that I have met my goal. Siento que he Ushers, cumplido, you may be seated, mi meta. I will feel that I have made my goal, so he certainly did mark Ciertamente his generation. Una marca en esta so generación. in order to do that, y para one hacer of esto, our a latest book is un, called Nehemiah Arise. Uno de esos libros es Nehemiah, levántate. 
And uh, the goal of that book is to raise men and uh, women, uh, you know, to transform their society. So first of all, there is the book. La meta es para levantar líderes en okay. la sociedad. Um, I think what you got here, we got the book. Tenemos también el libro. And we also have the devotional, so we are in volume two. So those who are waiting for volume two y tenemos el of the devotional, el it is now available. Ya Amen. Está disponible el volumen so dos. you can continue to grow in devotional format. Pueden continuar creciendo en el formato But devocional. what I am most excited about Pero lo que me emociona aún más um, is this. Es esto. What we're most excited about is the children's book. Es el, le Hallelujah. Para niños. Hallelujah. So we have the children's version of Nehemiah. Tenemos la versión de niños de so Nehemiah. it means now, you know, the whole family can gather together. Significa que la familia se and puede we juntar. all can be studying the same thing. Y poder estudiar la misma cosa. And grow in the knowledge and the word of God. Y crecer en el conocimiento y la um, palabra de Dios. At Tabernacle of Glory, we always encourage families at least to have one time a week where they come together and eat and pray. You have to make it fit in your, into your schedule. Amen? Amen? You have to make it happen. You know, that gives you an opportunity to talk, Esto te da la de hablar, um, to communicate values as a family, valores como familia. So instead of reacting to situations, en vez de a situaciones, you have a chance to talk and to communicate. Puedes hablar y so they have a, a video, I'll just let them play. Hay un video que va, and va after that, we can move into the Word. Y vamos a ir a la Royal family, get ready for an awesome adventure with your new children's book, Devotion, titled, Nehemiah Arise. Written by our Bishop Gregory Toussaint. Visit our campus and stop by Pastor Jesus Library table. And online, go to Amazon and search for Nehemiah Arise or click on link number eight. Get your copy now. Praise the Lord. Amen. Alabado sea Dios. Amen. We have an entire team on Tabernacle of Glory. Tenemos un equipo completo um, en Tabernacle de dedicated to, you know, working on the children's material. Dedicado basically a trabajar en el de making niños. that happen. So let's put our hands together and, and thank God for all of our team. Aplaudamos. Uh, Brother Juan is part of it, Sister Marilyn, and an entire sí. staff that un, just un, gets this whole thing together. So let's just give the, the Lord a round nice of applause. Nice round of applause para todos los implicados en esta for obra. all of those who are preparing material for our children ministries. Amen. Para el ministerio de niños. Praise the Lord. Awesome. 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 Father, again, we bless your name. We, Señor, thank, we pray that those minutes we're going to spend in your word may help us to grow in you in Jesus' name. Nos ayude a crecer en el nombre de Jesús. We're going to talk about John 3.16 this morning. Vamos a hablar en Juan 3, 16 esta mañana. It says, for God so loved the world Dice, por tanto, amor Dios al mundo. that he gave his only begotten son que dio a su único hijo. that whosoever believes in him Para que todo aquel que en él crea would not perish. No se pierda but have everlasting life. Mas tenga vida eterna. For God so loved the world that he gave. Por tanto, amó Dios al mundo que dio. So I want to pause this morning on the word give. Quiero pausar esta mañana en la palabra he gave dar, que his dio only son. Su único hijo. I want to quickly talk about the generosity quiero, of God. Quiero hablar de la generosidad de Dios. The generosity of God. La generosidad de Dios. The God that we serve is a generous God. El Dios al cual servimos es un Dios generoso. The God that we serve is a giver. Es un Dios dador. And he gives way beyond our expectations. Y da más allá de nuestras expectativas. When God created Adam, he created him and put him um, in an atmosphere of abundance. Cuando Dios creó a Adán, lo puso en una atmósfera de abundancia. Before he created Adam, he made sure that the sun was already created. Antes de crear a Adán, él creó al hijo the moon, la luna, the stars, las estrellas, the trees, los árboles, the rivers, los ríos, the animals, los animales, flowers, las flores, gold, los silver, 
Oro, everything plata. that man needed Todo lo que el for his survival para su things that he needed for his enjoyment para cosas para su gozo. and uh, even things that he just needed as luxury y cosas para como lujos. were all created for him before he was born Fueron creadas antes de que ellos because nacido. our God is a God of generosity Porque Dios es un Dios generoso. Um, the same thing when it comes to salvation. La misma manera, cuando viene a salvación. God didn't just save us. Dios no solo nos salvó. But Jesus said of the woman, the Samaritan woman. Pero Jesús hizo la mujer samaritana. He told her, whoever drinks of this water shall thirst again. Le dijo que quien beba de esta agua no tendrá sed jamás. But whoever drinks of the water that I give will never thirst. Pero el que tome del agua que yo le doy, nadie Because that agua. water will become a spring of water. Porque esta agua se convertirá en un río de abundancia. That will flow throughout eternity. Que va a fluir entre la eternidad. It's interesting that Jesus depicts salvation not as a cup of water. Es interesante, Jesús no muestra la salvación como una copa de agua. Not as a pool of water. No como una piscina de agua. Uh, he describes salvation as a spring of water. Él describe la salvación como un río de that agua. That will flow eternally. Que va a fluir eternamente. So it means that when you come to Jesus, significa que cuando vienes a Jesús, he doesn't just satisfy you the night that you came for that prayer. No se te, no te esa and noche then que the next day you wake up and realize there's no more water in the cup. Y el siguiente día te das cuenta que no hay agua en la copa. No, from the day that you receive him, pero el día de que lo recibes, there is a spring that begins to flow. Hay un río que comienza a fluir. And that spring flows eternally. Y ese río fluye eternamente. Are you guys with me? Están conmigo. Um, even though you may be going through difficult situations in life, but you find vida, there is something that is deeper. Pero que hay algo más There's a sense of purpose. Hay un de There's a sense of joy. Hay un de gozo. There is a sense of contentment. Hay un de that even the temporary issues that you're going through in life, que aún las cosas que vas en tu vida, it can never take that deep joy away. Nunca te puede Are ese you guys gozo with me? And, and, and that's when we come to Christ. His presence y a Cristo, su becomes an overflowing blessing se en una into eternity. Que hasta la yeah, um, Jeremiah says it that way. Lo, lo he says, manera. your mercies are new every morning. Que tus son cada so no matter, you know, how much we messed up the day prior, no importa cuánto nos and we say, my goodness, it is over. Decimos, God Dios is done with me. Dios se acabó conmigo. And then we wake up the next morning. Y nos levantamos la siguiente mañana. And still here. Y todavía estamos aquí. I still love you. Aún te amo. I still have a plan for you. Aún tengo un plan para ti. My purpose and my plan will become a reality in your life. Mi propósito y mi plan se convertirá en it's realidad. It's called en tu the vida. mercies of God renewing every morning. La misericordia de Dios se renueva cada mañana. And the cup never runs dry. Y la copa nunca Are se you guys seca. with me? The Está cup. Conmigo. La copa never runs dry. Nunca se seca. So God is generous. Dios es generoso. Um, at the work of creation. En la forma de creación. Generous. Generoso. Um, in his work of salvation. En su forma de salvación. Generous in the way that he answers our prayers. Generoso como él contesta nuestras oraciones. Look at a passage in James chapter 1, Mira el verse 5. En Santiago capítulo 1, where, verse 5. Uh, James talks about those who lack wisdom. Santiago habla de lo que falta de sabiduría. He says, if any one of you lack wisdom, y si alguno de vosotros tiene falta de sabiduría, let him ask of God who gives to all. Okay, let me pause, let me backtrack. If anyone lacks wisdom, Wisdom. Si alguno tiene falta de sabiduría. He says, if you lack, here's what you're gonna do. Si te falta, eso es lo que vas then a hacer. ask of him. Pídele a Dios. And then when he's gonna give, y cuando te la da, look at what it says. Mira lo que dice. Ask of God who gives. Pídele a Dios el cual da. How does he give? ¿Cómo da él? He gives reluctantly. Él no da relativamente. Is that what the text says? Es lo que dice el verso. He gives reluctantly. El da relativamente. He gives half-heartedly. El quizás lo da a medias. The text says who gives liberally. El verso dice que no da liberalmente. Without reproach. Que da abundantemente. And it will be given, given to him. Y le será dado. So when we pray. Cuando oramos. And God's answering our prayers. Y Dios responde nuestras oraciones. Even he ends our prayers when he answers them. Cuando responde la oración. He also answers them 
generously. Él la responde generosamente. He was generous at the work of creation. Fue generoso con la creación. He remains generous in the work of salvation. Se mantiene generoso con la forma de la salvación. And when he answers our prayers, he also answers them gen generously. Y cuando responde a nuestra oración, le responde generosamente. As a result, you and I, como resultado tú y yo, as children of God, como hijos de Dios, in order to look like Him, para poder parecernos a él, one of the most important characteristics to develop in life, características para desarrollar en la vida, is generosity. Es la generosidad. Generosity is important. Generosidad es importante. Because it makes us look like God. Porque nos hace ver como Dios. On an on a Easter weekend like this. En un domingo de Pascua como este. Jesus, God gave His most precious treasure of heaven, His Son. Dios dio su más preciado regalo del cielo que fue su hijo. He gave His Son. Él dio su hijo. He could have given it anybody else. Pudo haber dado a cualquier otra persona. He could have given us. Job, Nos pudo haber dado a Job, or Noah, o a Noé, or Gabriel, o a Gabriel, or Michael, o a Miguel. He said, I'm going to give you my best. Pero no, dijo, Te daré lo I'm going to be as generous as I can. Seré más de lo que puedo so ser. this weekend y esta fin de semana, reminds us nos recuerda of the of the generosity of God. De la generosidad de Dios. How kind-hearted God is. Que tan bueno es Dios. He blesses generously. Que nos bendice abundantemente. And encourages and encourages us to do the same. Y nos motiva a hacer lo mismo. So what's this what is our challenge? ¿Cuál es nuestro reto? During this Christmas, not Christmas time, we'll be at, or Easter time. Durante este tiempo de Pascua. Is to develop generosity in our lives. Es desarrollar la generosidad en nuestra First, vida. let's begin to be generous with our time. Primero, seamos generosos con nuestro I tiempo. I know all of us are busy. Sé que todos están ocupados. And we got different things that we are doing. Y tienen muchas cosas que hacer. But let's take a pause. Pero tomemos una pausa. And say, you know, if God could be generous with me. Y digamos, si Dios puede ser generoso conmigo. Let me take some time Déjame tomar un tiempo to give to para, others para darle a otros. let me take some time Déjame tomar un tiempo to serve para servir. let me take some time Déjame tomar un tiempo to be part of a ministry para ser parte de un let me take some time to do something that I'm not getting paid for Déjame hacer algo que no me pagan para hacer. or that I'm not only doing for personal satisfaction o que no lo hago por satisfacción personal. let me take some of let me take some of my time Déjame tomar de mi tiempo let me dedicate a few hours a week y dedicar unas horas al día just to be a, be a blessing to others para hacer una bendición para otros. so in this Easter time this is God who was generous with you. En este tiempo de Pascua, el Dios que fue generoso contigo. So it's time to learn from him. Es tiempo de aprender de él. And be generous with our time. Y ser generoso con nuestro tiempo. Not only am I going to challenge you to be generous with your time. No solo te voy a motivar para ser generoso Secondly, con tu tiempo. I'm going to be I'm going to challenge you to be generous with your knowledge. Pero te voy a retar que seas generoso your con tu conocimiento. Con tu cosa, your skill, con tus habilidades, your abilities. Con tus conocimientos. You know there is something bizarre. Hay algo tan bizarro. About education. Acerca de la educación. And knowledge. Y el conocimiento. It takes a long time. Toma mucho tiempo. You know to build education. Desarrollar la educación. To, uh, you know to have a good education. Para tener una buena educación. I mean depends on the level that you're gonna go up to. Depende del nivel al cual vas. Can take a, a you know can take a lot of time. Puede tomar mucho tiempo. You know you spent about I don't know 18 years in school to get you to high school. Quizás pasa 18 años para llegar al, al fin de la escuela. If you're gonna get to a doctorate level, it's gonna take to you 12 years after that. Si vas a llegar a un nivel doctorado, va a tomar 12 años. You spent 30 years in school. Te pasas 30 años en la escuela. You know, just to get your brain to a doctorate level. Para que llegue tu mente a un nivel doctorado. And then when you die. Y después cuando mueres. All of that dies. Todo eso muere también. And all of that is gone. Y también se va. Unless. A menos you pass it to someone else. Que se lo pases a alguien más. Are you guys with me? Están conmigo. And 30 years of study, by the way, that's just the beginning, because if you just graduated with a PhD, that's en 30 yeah. años de estudios, si te gradúas con un doctorado. You spend years accumulating. Pasas años acumulando. But if you don't spend time investing in somebody else, Pero si no pasas tan tiempo invirtiendo en alguien you más, learn for 18 years, 20 por 18 years, años, 20 años, 50 years. And then all of that is a waste. Y después todo eso es botado a la basura. So take some time. Toma un tiempo. 
Invest your time. Invierte tu Be tiempo. generous with your time. Sé generoso con tu tiempo. With other people. Con otras personas. Be generous with your knowledge. Sé generoso con tu conocimiento. Give it to others. Dáselo. The beautiful thing about knowledge is. Lo más hermoso del conocimiento es. When you share what you know with other people, que lo que sabes you don't con otros, lose what you know. No lo you que sabes. still know Talo what you know. Sabes lo que sabes. And then you get to be a blessing to others y puede ser una para without otros, losing anything. Sin nada. So I'll challenge you this Easter weekend. Te voy a retar este fin de de Pascua. Be generous with your time. Sé generoso con tu tiempo. Be generous with your skills. Sé generoso con with tu what you know. Be a blessing with others. Sé de bendición para otros. Lastly, be generous with your resources. Y finalmente, sé generoso con tu recursos. With your finances. Con tus finanzas. The same thing that happens with knowledge. La misma forma que pasa con conocimiento. Also happens with money. También pasa con el dinero. Yesterday I was traveling back from New York to Ayer be here. Viajaba desde Nueva York hasta aquí. And uh, I was having a conversation with uh, Brother JR on the plane. Tenía una conversación con brother, hermano JR I don't know what we were talking about. We started talking about Kobe Bryant. Empezamos a hablar de Kobe Bryant. Oh, oh, we were talking about how disciplined this guy was. Hablando de cuán disciplinado este tipo In era. order to be one of the top basketball, you know, one of the top athletes in the United States. Un atleta de los I mean, más altos. He had Strict discipline. Tienes que tener una disciplina estricta. This guy adhered to a strict diet. Este se adhirió a una dieta estricta. He had a strict workout discipline. Tenía una estricta disciplina de trabajo. Six hours a day. Seis horas al día. Minimum. Minimum. You know, at the gym for I don't know uh, the two hours or so, and then whatever that he had to do, and then he got to practice later on. Y debía practicar después. And Jr. was telling me that, uh, that he was. Uh, Looking at an interview where this guy said he showed up, he showed up three hours in advance. Uh, to practice. Para practicar. Three hours in advance. Tres horas antes para to practicar. practice. You know, and those who were showing up like 20, 20 minutes in advance, he said I'd never pass him the ball. Y los que dicen que se muestra 20 minutos, 20 minutes in advance. yo no le paso la pelota. Al so this guy put himself to a strict discipline. Este tipo se pone una estricta disciplina. To get to where he was. Para llegar a donde estaba. Both in terms of diet and exercise and sleeping pattern. En cuestión de dietas de comida. And because of that discipline. Y debido a esa disciplina. He was at the top. Él estaba en el cima. And because he was at the top, prospered financially. Y también prosperaba financieramente. Of course, he died with a network of over 600 million dollars. Él murió con una un estimado de seis millones de dólares. And then he died. Y después murió. And then he died. Y después murió. At the height of his career. En, lo, en el pico de su carrera and left you know behind his you know uh, you know uh, his wife dejó atrás su esposa sus hijos at some point pero en algún punto his wife will need to move on with her life su esposa deberá seguir con su vida and then it's gonna come a brother y después va a venir, va a venir un hermano who never, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Que quizás, no lo sé. Maybe another brother who didn't wake up early in the morning. Quizás un hermano que nunca se levantó temprano en la mañana. Didn't work out six hours a day. Nunca trabajó seis horas al día. Care nothing about no diet. Que no le he importaba la dieta. He may be a fat dieta. brother. Quizás, era un, quizás puede ser un tipo gordo. And that brother. Y este hermano. Is going to be enjoying a good part. Va a estar disfrutando buena parte. And depending on who he is, it might end up managing. Y dependiendo quién es, puede manejar. Everything that this guy worked for. Todo lo que este muchacho construyó. You see the vanity of wealth. Ves la vanidad de la riqueza. Do something worthwhile with your money. Haz algo que tenga valor con tu dinero. Do something worthwhile with your money. Haz algo que tenga valor con tu dinero. It's the vanity of life. Es la vanidad de la vida. Change people's lives. Cambia la vida de las personas. Make an impact. Haz un impacto. Do something positive. Haz algo positivo. Because it's for you today, but you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Porque es tuyo hoy, pero no sabes lo que va a pasar mañana. And all the work hard, all the work, you never know who's going to end up managing what you're working hard y for. Todo el trabajo que hiciste, no sabes quién va a manejar lo que tú trabajaste. You might as well do something positive. What it is, while it is still in your control. Es mejor que hagas algo positivo mientras you, está you're not going to go with it. No vas a you ir get that point. You're not going to go with no it. Te vas a ir con él. When you came, veniste, you found it here. Lo when you leave, 
you're going to leave it here. Nobody really owns anything. We just manage it. We just manage it while we are here. It was here before we came. It will be here after we go. Before it was yours, it was somebody else's. It flowed from somebody else to you. And after you gone, it's going to flow from you to somebody else. Nobody gets to keep it forever. But you can make an impact with it while it's in your hand, in the lives of people and for eternity. If you understand what I said, shout glory. So today, Así que hoy, I'm encouraging you to be generous te estoy a que seas with your time, con tu tiempo, with your skills, con tus habilidades, with your finances. Con tus finanzas. But let me tell you this. Pero esto. None of that can happen Nada de esto pasa without you giving yourself first sin antes darte a ti mismo to the Lord. Al Señor. And that's why the Apostle Paul says in 2 Corinthians, y por eso el Apostle Pablo dice en segunda de Corintios, um, 2 Corinthians 8, segunda de Corintios 8, verses 3 through 5, versos 3, 2 Corinthians 8, verses 3 through 5, segunda de Corintios 8, 3 al 5, he says that, dice, and I have said 2 Corinthians 8, verses 3 to 5, can we find that verse? Segunda de Corintios 8, He says, for I testify, can we, put the, can we keep the verse up there? He said, I testify. Dice, pues doy testimonio. According to their ability, de acuerdo a sus habilidades. and even beyond their ability, they gave voluntarily. Y aún más allá de sus fuerzas. And look at what it says. Mira lo que dice. And it says, imploring us Pidiéndonos with much urgency that we would receive a gift from the fellowship and the ministering of the saints. Que concedemos Next. El privilegio de participar. And it says, not only that, we had hoped for it, but look at what it says. Y no como esto but they first, gave, they first gave themselves to the Lord sino que sí se primeramente al Señor. and to us y luego a nosotros. by the will of God. Por la voluntad de Dios. They first gave themselves se dieron primeramente to the Lord. Al Señor. What allows us to be a blessing to others Lo que nos ser una para otros is when we first give ourselves to the Lord. Es cuando nos damos primeramente al Señor. And by the way, you know what's bizarre about it? ¿Y sabes lo que es extraño de esto? When we give cuando damos ourselves to the Lord or we give our lives to the Lord, cuando nos entregamos nuestra vida al Señor, that's when we begin to live. Es cuando comenzamos a vivir. You know, uh, Martin, Luther King Martin Luther King once said, Una vez dijo, a man has not begun to live. Un hombre no comienza a vivir. A man has not begun to live un hombre no comienza a vivir until he finds something hasta que encuentra algo worthy to die for. Que es dispuesto a morir por él. If you don't have something in life that you're so convicted about, you're willing to die for it, si no hay algo en esta vida que esté you a morir, haven't begun to live. No has comenzado a vivir. Because your life has no meaning. Porque tu vida no tiene significado. It has no sense. No tiene sentido. You're just somebody who will fall for anything. Es alguien que se You'll va por go in every cosa. direction. En cualquier dirección. You have no conviction. No tienes ninguna convicción. A man really begins to live un when you find a call that is so dear, que es tan so profundo, passionate, tan, tan so compelling, tan poderoso, and you say, I will take a bullet for this. Y dice, Yo tomaría una bala por esto. When you find that something Cuando encuentras ese algo, and you're doing it every day, y lo haces todos los días, oh my goodness, your life mío, makes sense. Tu vida tiene every day you wake up with joy, you todo wake up with purpose, you wake gozo, up with energy. Your life has been, but I'll tell you whatever it is. I'll tell you that something will not be a car. It will not be a house. It will not be another pair of Jordans. It's going to be something much greater than that. That's going to have a much bigger impact. More and more people are saying these days, you know, 
you know I need to you know I need to find myself Gandhi once said the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others God created us to serve it's in the fabric of creation God created everything in nature to serve something else the sun doesn't serve itself it serves the trees it serves men it serves the earth the trees serve the animals they provide food for the animals the rivers serve the trees are you guys with me? God has created the world in such a way that the only way that our lives make sense is if we are serving him and we are serving others when we serve him and we serve others our lives make sense so today let us be, be generous with our lives as God has been generous with us God bless you let's bow our heads in prayer Father we bless your name we thank you for the opportunity to look like you today to make you the center of our lives and in the process and as a result be a blessing to others and the consequence of all of that is that our lives become more fulfilled we become more alive we have a reason to live so I pray Lord that you do that today that you give us that passion that you had for that you have for men and that is expressed through this resurrection Sunday in Jesus name while all heads are bowed if you've never given your life to Jesus you want to accept him for the first time or you want to come back home before we finish, I want to pray for you personally. So if you'd like to give your life to Jesus for the first time, or you want to come back home, I want to pray for you personally. So simply where you are, lift up your right hand and I'll pray for you. Just lift up your right hand, I'll pray for you. Okay? All right, lift up your right hand. Real nice, I see that hand. Come on. Lift up your right hand. Okay, whoever else, I see those hands, I see those hands. Here's what I'm going to ask you to do. All of you who raised your hands, come forward, I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's give the Lord a round of applause as they come. All of you who raised your hands, young and old, young and old, wherever you are, come forward. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's see. Those of you who are online who want to make that, who want to make that same, same decision, click on link number one link number one there we go praise the Lord hallelujah thank you for the cross Jesus thank you for the cross thank you for the cross come on let's give it to the Lord hallelujah wow God you're awesome God awesome awesome awesome, awesome. If you're online, click on link number one. Si estás en línea, haz clic en el enlace número uno. It's a new season. Yes, Lord. It's a new day. Yeah. Fresh or no It's coming my way. It's coming my way. Oh, yeah. It's a season of power. Yeah. And prosperity. Yeah. It's a new season, come and tell me, it's a new season.
leg number one. Leg, leg number one. Leg number one. second group if you're here in this place you've never been baptized and you said the next time we have in baptizing service you want to make that decision so I'm going to ask you to come as well if you want to be planted in this church in this ministry and you say you know I usually visit different ministries but I want to be planted somewhere I can uh, I can be generous with my time with my skill with my resources and you feel that's the ministry you want to be connected with I'm going to encourage you as well so we're going to sing that one more time before we pray and that's going to be your opportunity to come forward as well of applause for all of them who came forward. Congratulations all of you today. Accepting Jesus is as easy as ABC. A, you have to admit that you are a sinner. The Bible says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. B, we have to believe that Jesus died for us. The Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. See, we have to confess it with our mouth, which means saying it with our mouth. The Bible says, if you confess with, uh, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. So it's a simple prayer we're going to pray, but it'll have a big impact. So let's just repeat those words after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for speaking to my heart. I realize that I am a sinner. I have done things that are not right in your sight. But your word says that you sent your son, Jesus, to die for me. Jesus, right now, I give you my life. Take it and use it for your glory. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. All of you. We're going to be in touch with you. Based on the information that you gave us, we're going to connect you with your small group. That's going to help you to grow in the faith. Again, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Congratulations! Come on, let's give the Lord a nice round of applause for all of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Alabado sea Dios. Well, um, at Tabernacle of Glory, every, um, every, um, every Easter, uh, we have a special Pascua. offering that we bring in the presence of the Lord. It's called our first fruit offering. Los primeros frutos. When God delivered um, Israel from Egypt, Cuando Dios liberó a Israel de Egipto, um, um, he gave them the Passover, Passover to observe. And then he said that day will be the 
beginning of a new year for you. So uh, in the ancient Jewish calendar, today would have been considered uh, the uh, um, January 1st for them in the ancient Jewish calendar. So uh, at that time, the Lord had told them you will bring the first fruit of the land before my presence. So that's a, why did the Lord ask of them of that? That was their way of saying, Lord, I put you first in my life. I place you first. Everything first in the Bible belongs to God. And that's why we worship the first day of the week. The first day of the week belongs to Him. The first child in the Bible belonged to God. Um, the firstborn used to be the priest of the family until the Lord had a class of priesthood separated called the Levites. The first animals belong to God as well. So anything first, the first hours of the day, Jesus used to take them to pray. So everything that is first belongs to God. And that's why every time that Israel had their first harvest, which was called the first fruit, it was brought in the presence of God. Today, the same way that God delivered Israel from Egypt, Physically, he's also delivered us from Egypt spiritually. So we celebrate our uh, liberty and at the same time we honor him by placing him first through our first fruit offering. So every year, we bring our first fruit offering before God. In the Bible, it was an agricultural society. So uh, people would bring the first harvest. Today, we no longer live in an agricultural society. We live in a society predominantly a society of service. And we don't get paid with mangoes and bananas and things like that. We receive a Check. And that's what we bring in the presence of God. So first fruit offering is the equivalent of a check that we bring in the presence of God. So it's our tradition at Tabernacle of Glory every Easter Sunday to do that. So I'm going to encourage all of you right now, um, um, all of you right now who have not had a chance, who didn't have a chance to present your first fruit offering, Friday night while we are doing the regular offerings we're going to encourage you to come forward and bring your first fruit offering tonight we're going to pray on all of those first fruit offerings we're going to dedicate them if you have not made that decision yet it's not too late to make that decision this morning and decide to bring your offering to the Lord so we're going to sing that one more time, it is a, it's a new season, it's a new day. While we sing it, those of you who are doing, bring your regular offering, you can put them in the baskets. And those who are bringing your first fruit offering, come to the front. Those who are online, click on leg number two, leg number two, leg number two online. And let's do that. Those who are bringing first fruit offerings, you can come forward and, uh, and place them here at the altar. If there are people who still need envelopes, you can still come forward and pick them up as well. Number two. 
praise the Lord. Alabado sea Dios. All right. So throughout the day, a través del día, you can you can continue uh, to give your first fruit offering online. De primicia en línea. Um, and tonight, y esta noche, we are going to pray vamos a orar on those first fruit uh, um, offering. En esas ofrendas de primicia. So tonight, esta noche, um, come early. Is vente, that seven o'clock? We start right. A las siete, so let's start early tonight. Let's be hoy. here early. We're going to be praying on those offerings. Estaremos orando por las ofrendas. First fruit offering por tonight. Las ofrendas de in the name of Jesus Christ. En el nombre de Jesucristo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Now, tonight. Ahora, esta noche. Very, very important. Muy, muy importante. Besides praying on the first fruit offering. Aparte de orar por, orar por las primicias. Tonight, I'm going to be giving an important update on our building project. Esta noche voy a dar una actualización de nuestro edificio. And it's going to be good news. Y van a ser buenas noticias. So I want everybody to be here tonight. Quiero que todos estén We're going to have noche. a great time in the presence of God. Vamos a tener gran God bless you. Presencia. See you all tonight. Dios les bendiga. We haven't closed yet. Let me ask um, our, our Pastor Jimmy to come and close no hemos for us. No. Voy a pedirle al Pastor Jimmy que Praise venga a cerrar. Praise the Lord, all right? Okay, we're going to wear white tonight, so all of you, white is the color of victory, so you got to celebrate it tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Would you stand and rise? Actually, before you do that, uh, we want to just have our visitors. If you are visiting us for the first time, si no visita por la primera or the vez, second time, would you please stand up so we can recognize you, officially recognize you. Si Those of you who are vez. visiting us for the first or second time, hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a hallelujah. hand. Demos un al to Señor. see all our visitors, hallelujah. Todos Thank you for visiting us. Por hallelujah. Remain standing. Remain Pongan standing. Don't sit. Remain standing. Remain standing. Don't sit. Remain standing. Pongan Everybody, stretch your hands towards favor, our visitors and pray for them. Father God, we bless you. We thank you for them, Señor, for our visitors, our friends visitantes. visiting us here this morning. We Esta ask mañana, you that you be with them, that you guide them, that you uh, bless them, Father God, that they can share their time and, and of their gift, their talents, their resources in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, as you guys stand, if you look to the back, you're going to see some people with some flags. We have a room prepared, reserved for you so we can receive you uh, accordingly. If you can get and follow the ushers to do that in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All right, we're going to get ready to receive our offering. As, as our ofrenda. spiritual father said, if you have already, if you have your envelopes si prepared, you can go ahead now, begin to, as we pass the baskets around, las to receive our offering this morning. Para Again, you esta can mañana. go ahead and click on the QR code. Puedes you dar. can go to link number two to give your offering. You can text the word offering to the WhatsApp number. 830-1222. You can call 786-505-1580. Hallelujah, as you get ready to give your offering for today. Amen. This is just the offering. This is the regular offering. This is not the first fruit offering. Your first fruit offering, you can take the envelope and bring it tonight. Doors open at 6.45. Las puertas abren we a las open 6, at 645 in all the campuses. 6.45 en todos los campos. So please make sure you come Puedes venir to worship and close out these seven nights. A adorar y a cerrar las close out this noches. resurrection Sunday together. Este domingo de resurrección juntos. Don't forget we gotta ask everyone to wear all white. Te voy a pedir que vengas de blanco. As a sign of victory. Como un símbolo de victoria. In the name of Jesus. Amen. En el nombre de Jesús. Amen. Hallelujah. Continue to receive Continuamos recibiendo our offering. nuestras ofrendas. All right, would you stand, rise, and receive the benediction Ahora puedes de as we close la red, our service? La bendición final. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It's a new season coming to me. Father God, we thank you. We bless your name. Señor, te agradecemos y honramos tu nombre. 
again as we remember the sacrifice of your son Jesus Christ on the cross. Recuerdo del sacrificio de Jesús en la cruz. Bless those who've given to this offering this morning. Bendice a los que dieron su ofrenda esta mañana. And tithes as well. Y a sus diezmos también. Those who've given of the first fruit. Los que han dado sus primicias. And those who plan on bringing it this evening. Los que planean traerlo esta mañana. Father God, as we leave this place. Señor, mientras dejamos este lugar. We ask for your protection. Que pedimos por tu protección. We ask that you watch over us. Pedimos que nos veas. And bring us back here again this afternoon to worship you in spirit and in truth. Thank you for your word, for the encouragement, to share of our time, of our gifts, of our ability, of our resources. Let us invest, Father God, in each other and in the kingdom, in Jesus' name. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face a shout upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord, may you be rooted and grounded in his word. May you always keep your eyes on him. Go in peace, God bless. Have a wonderful Sunday. See you tonight. All white. Doors open at 645. And again, happy Resurrection Sunday. God bless you. It's a new day. I'm saying